a classical artist, I listen to a lot of classical music even if I don't necessarily have to perform it anytime soon. So uh, my favorite pianists are uh, Vladimir Horowitz and Richter. And um, I really like a few violinists uh, who would be probably Colgan and Oistra. And um, that would be probably my favorite classical performers. And um, I really like Alicia Keys, who is of course a non-classical musician. And I, the reason why I like her in particular is because there is a lot of classical influence in her music and that is something that I really can connect to because of where I come from and because I've been classically trained my whole life and I think that her music is very positive and it inspires me to be better and happier and um, I just it's just a good music to relax to it's very happy and very loving and it just I think it kind of makes me uh, think of the best things in the world Um, well, I still remember one of my first performances when I was um, about six years old. Um, that was my first big public concert. We had to start playing juries, which is basically an audition at the end of the semester for your teachers at the school since our first year. So I played my first jury, I was four years old. But at six I had this big concert where I had to perform on a violin and I had to perform the first movement of a pretty long concerto which was about five minutes long and um, I remember going through my first memory lapse ever and having to misplace things and go from first page to the last and then I realized that I'm on the wrong part of the piece and I went back but I never stopped and I ended the performance and nobody noticed anything except my accompanist who had to keep flipping pages back and forth to catch me because I was going from the beginning to the end of the piece and back and um, even though I, everybody told me that they had no idea what was going on because I never stopped or shown anything, I was extremely stressed and happy when it was over. Uh, that was one of the first bad, I would say, more experience than happy experiences but after that I had many great performances and um, one of the best performances I've ever given was probably um, the national piano competition at the Alcorn State University my last year when I won first prize and that was one of those moments when I was really nervous because I was playing extremely challenging program and I was worried about missing notes and all kinds of things and right before the stage I just took a breath and I said I'm just gonna have fun with it and whatever happens happens and it actually went really really well and I enjoyed my time on the stage uh, a lot and it came out to be first place afterwards so that was very good. teaching since 15 years old so it's been nine years now and I've had all kinds of students and most of them were great students but there were some not so great I would say for me um, sometimes when I uh, had some problems having them to con having them concentrate and pay attention to me and one of those students just recently called my home in Russia and she's 16 years old now. I taught her when I was 15 and uh, she called a couple of months ago and um, was, of course she couldn't speak to me because I'm here now in the United States, but she talked to my family and she said, please tell Miss Vera hi. And I remember her and when they told me, I almost cried because I mean, this kid was five, six years old and now she's um, 16 and she still remembers me. So that was a very good experience to have. The violin I use right now is the same violin I've had since I was 12 years old. It was the first violin I had to buy, the full-size violin. 
and uh, my dad actually found it for me. It's one of the violins that was made. Um, it wasn't made by the Italian master, it was made uh, somewhere in Eastern Europe uh, around the beginning of the 20th century, but it is made by the model of the Italian instrument, so it's very light, it has this bright singing sound that uh, is very easy to play all the romantic and beautiful melodies uh, kind of stuff. Um, that's probably the violin I would get if I had to buy a more expensive one one day. Um, it would probably be still an Italian Amati-like or Stradivari-like model that would make this singing sound. Thank you.